assalamu alaikum friends welcome to my channel and in this tutorial we will see in the processing of dem data in our gis so whether you are a gis pro or just starting your spatial journey you are here with me and in this tutorial we will elevate our dem data processing so first of all what is dem data dem data is actually tell us about the elevations information height information about earth surface dem data is also divided into two parts first one is known as dsm and dtm so dsm is actually the representation of elevation values of our surface including both natural features like trees and as well as man made structures like buildings so and terrain digital train model on the other hand is the representation of bare earth surface without considering any feature on it it eliminates heights above ground objects like buildings and vegetations trees etc okay first of all we will see that how can we freely download the dem data uh, if you want to download uh, dtm digital terrain model then you can select uh, srtm mission its spatial resolution is 30 meter and if you want to download a uh, dsm dem data then you can download astro dem data and its spatial resolution is 16 meter so in this tutorial we will download and process srtm dem data so for downloading srt go and just write usgs earth explorer okay if you don't have any account in this pla on this platform then you can make an account from over here but in this case i am already logged in so for downloading uh dem data sorry team dem data firstly you need to select your region of interest so we will make a polygon okay we will make a polygon just like this by making left click on this map and then from here you can select date or cloud is not uh, cloud filter is not for dem data so we will go to data set and then go to digital elevation and then go to srt and download one arc second global srt data then go down and hit the results now you can see we have a tile of all this area this tile is covering all this area but our area of interest is also lying on this tile so for downloading this tile uh, just hit download and download the dem data in geotip form okay so this is the file that i recently download from usgs search explorer in tip format so if you want to import this file then you can go to our catalog or just drag and drop on arc map just like this okay this is a tile we just downloaded from usg search explorer and in this tile you can see every pixel this is actually a raster data set so every pixel is representing a elevation value so the maximum elevation value of a terrain in this data set is 2427 and the lowest is 477 so if i use this tool and click over here then you can you will see that this area has high elevation values just like this you can see its pixel values 2455 so it's mean that this area this location is 2455 meter above sea level okay so first of all we will see that how can you clip your area of interest from all this tile so for clipping a, a area of interest you need to create a shape file so we will cre create a shape file just write go to your destination and go to new and then make a shape file that will be a polygon and coordinate system will be the previous 1984 and create it now we will draw our shape file We now go to create feature tool and select the new shape file and select polygon from over here or you can create a simple rectangle just like this so 
save your edits and now we will clip only this region from all this tile so for this we will use a tool that is known as extract by mass or you can also use clip tool okay you can use both of these tools so let's go with this one input will be your raster data set and the clipping file is our sh shape file now use input feature for clipping geometry you can select your file destination from over here that will be them data and then clip them dot extension will be in t and okay okay so you can see over here that we just clicked uh, our area of interest from all this time just like this and now we will perform our analysis on this file and uh, our next step we will project we will see that how can we change the projection of our raster data set so first of all uh, you need to change the projection of your data frame so just make a right click on your data frame and go to its properties and now uh, go to coordinate system and we are in UTM zone 43 north and hit ok so now we will change the uh, projection of our raster data set ok you can use a tool that is known as project raster and you can use this tool okay for using this tool you need to add your input raster data set and then assign a location to your uh, raster data set and then assign a coordinate system that is utm zone 43 not and hit ok but there is another procedure ok so you can use and try this tool but i use this method for projecting features just right click on your data set and go to export data and from here export your data in data frame we just change the our data frame from gcs to uh, utm zone uh, 43 north so we will use a uh, data frame for exporting this data set and from here you can select your destination them data project take them and extend Okay, from here you will select your folder and from here you can change the name of your file project it them and save it and export so now you can see the pro in properties in source you can see its uh, coordinate system is JCS 1984 and if we will see its coordinate then they are in your team zone 43 north okay so remove this one okay so in next step we will see that how can we perform a statistical analysis on our uh, dem data so for per performing a statistical analysis you can also change the projection of this shape file to export data and the data frame and okay remove okay just like this now we will perform statistical analysis on our this area uh, okay we want to know that what is the average height in all this region okay go to your R toolbox and then go to uh, spatial statistic tool sorry spatial analysis tool and then go to zonal and then go to zonal statistic and input will be our area of interest and the raster value will be our projected dem you can give a destination to your uh, data set and now if you want to calculate the average then you will select mean or if you want to know the maximum uh, 
high highest value in this data set so that is 2672 meters so we will go with the mean we want to calculate the average of elevation values in all this region so just hit ok okay so now you can see over here uh, the average value in this data set is 1169 meters okay so you can see over here the uh, mean average elevation value is 1169.3 meters uh, in all this region so now if you want to perform other statistical analysis you can use this tool for different purpose to statistical analysis we will see that how can we will create contours on this rastering data set so what is contour so first of all you know that a rastering data that will provide us the information about elevation values is known as dam data so in vector data if our lines uh, will tell if lines feature will tell us about the information of uh, height and elevations then they will known as contour so for making contour on this raster data set you will go to surface and then go to contour and from here you will select your raster data set and the interval will be you can say interval will be 500 meters and rest of all field will we will go with default values and hit ok okay so now if you want to label these contours so let's go to its attribute table and okay these are contours go to its properties and then go to label and select contour make them bold okay hit it okay so okay again go to properties and label the features on this layer so now you can see here these contours are actually representing uh, the elevation values so now we will see that how can you change the symbology and add colors in this raster data set so go to its properties and go to symbology and you can select colors from over here so just hit ok so now you can see over here the reddish color is actually representing the lowest uh, elevation values so if you want to invert this color just make a right left click on it and invert this just like this so now it's quite good so if you want to convert a shape file into kml file we will convert our contours into kml and we will see the same contour lines in google earth pro uh, just write kml to layer okay we want to convert a shape file into kml then layer to kml and input will be your shape file and you can give a destination to your file dem okay dem data contour dot km the extension will be in kmz because the kml file uh, have the extension of kmlz kmz and hit save and hit ok now let's go to folder and now you can see over here we have a kmz kml file over here if i will open this file then those contours that we recently created on our arc map will appear on google earth pro okay just like this so you can see over here these lines are actually representing the different elevation value and now we will see that how can you visualize this uh, raster data set uh, the dem data in 3d view in arc scene so for this you will go to your arc scene open your arc scene okay this is your arc scene interface and you can see over here this is our catalog and go to your file destination that is dem data and get the projective dem just like this so we will soon see the 3d representation of this data set so for making a 3d uh, 
So before making a 3D view, uh, just change the symbol G. Inverts, just like this. So now, if you want to, okay, now go to its properties and go to base height and then go to float. And you can change numbers from here. Just go with seven and hit OK. So now you can see a 3D view of this location. The strategy area is actually representing the highest elevation values and the bluish area is representing the lowest elevation values that is a transporting network of a stream. Okay. Before converting a raster dataset into TIN model, you will write raster to TIN and use this to raster to TIN. Input will be your projected them and all other values will remain in and then hit OK. So now you can see over here this is the tin model of our dem data set. Okay now we will see our tin data set that we just recently created on arc map. Go to arc catalog and your file destination. This is the tin file and now you can see uh, the tin data uh, tin model is representing the 3d view of our scene so if you want to increase its base heights then okay, now this is quite good so okay now if you want to see the volume of this stream or a river then you can perform use a 3d analyst tool for this so, per, so calculating the volume of uh, this river or a stream, uh, first of all, let's select the contour line of that region. Okay. Now create a new layer from selected feature. Just like this. Label it. Okay, so you want to calculate the volume of this region then go to your 3d analysis tool then make sure first of all make sure that in extension you have open and check the 3d analysis tool and then go to 3d analysis tool okay. then go to functional surface and then go to surface volume okay from here input will be your raster data set and you can assign output like volume dot txt okay if you want to uh, calculate the volume above any surface then you can go with above but in this case we want to calculate the uh, surface area that is below 500 meters and other values will remain default and hit ok <laughs> And now you can see over here okay okay now go to its attribute and you can see over here uh, its volume is this and you can it this value is in meter and you can convert it into gallon or acre etc okay now it's all for today and now it's your turn so let me now and comment below that what specific JS topic would you like to cover in future videos and if you want to create a elevation map of your country just like this then you can click on top right corner so in the next video you will see that how can you create uh, perform a contour a aspect a hill shade a curvature and a slope analysis on RGIS so many thanks take care Allah Hafiz